Hello, welcome to my second back half. This is a small half next to the main plot. This is largely the workhorse of the main plot and I think I've said in previous entries that I largely use my greenhouse for uh, propagating and seed setting off early in the season. Now I have opted for toms this year which I'm quite glad of because they're under cover and I didn't go along sowing lots of basil although that is a oriental basil. Here um, I completed this bed in winter uh, on a previous video and I'll be covering this for attempting some Japanese radishes and probably a second crop of potatoes. I'm looking to buy rubbish cheap potatoes at the moment from the supermarket. Those we're trying to get rid of that have been in storage for a year but are named and are first or second earliest. Why? Because I'm probably going to use them as seed potatoes rather than order from the catalogues. <coughs> These, some of these are, are nearly getting ready to bolt. I forgot about. I had them actually because we're on the far side, love joints. Um, and this this side, as I said, tends to be my surplus side. A bed of spring onions, white Lisbon, another bed. If I miss any of these and they die back, uh, I use the bulbs for pickling. If not, it's not too much of a hassle. Spring onions are expensive, um, and I always set these off at home in January, February, March, however many trays every two to three weeks. I really don't overwinter them because this plot tends to be in full shade for six weeks midwinter and if it's harsh they die back. Some people do fine with good results and they stagger their season into the next year. That's fine. I'm at the lowest part of the allotment here and it can flood so all these are raised. It's taken some time. Going over here, my cold frame is most useful. It, hold, it needs a bit of fixing. It holds up to 32 trays. I think you can see in there, up and down. The down level tends to get a bit leggy. I can allegedly move these um, trays so I could use it as a small cloche, I suppose, but I've only done it once or twice and I continue to use for growing seeds throughout. <coughs> I think I'll end up repeating myself from my main video here, but largely here uh, is Asian celery again, another character that loves boggy, wet soil. Uh, I don't need to worry about it this year. I use this as previously mentioned as a flower coal frame. Why a flower coal frame? Because if I don't nominate it, I end up filling it everything with uh, veg when I don't need to so this stops me. I have a removable tray in here and there's a nice crop of tomatoes I think coming on in there hopefully Mr Blight won't get them and chilies on the bottom again they're uh, surplus from the main plot Atlantic giant there getting into stride Now these were my worst spring onions, sorry, these were my worst onions from seed. All the best ones I put on the main plot here, I put my surplus, and you know what, look at these, they're doing much better, I'm beginning to bulb up. They do last longer, and anything for show from seed is much better, in my opinion, they don't fall over for another month, just like the textbook says. Anything that's from sets tends to fall over earlier in my experience, but it's probably more reliable. I'm going to get ready to have to move these this weekend. These are those Grizel, an experiment, and the more reliable, uh, I think, uh, Golden Gourmet and Red Sunset. And these are the size of some people's onions, excuse me, for knocking the camera a bit. Bear with me. Another Atlantic Giant, so you see. This was a baby while wow, there was a garlic in here, the garlic comes out, this no longer is a baby and covers that and in a couple of weeks when it spreads into here the onions will be out. Again, lettuce in here, 
I've missed one or two here, but this bed was full of lettuce, allowing the pumpkin to come out when it was when they're ready. I mentioned this about Thai cabbage. Interestingly, with the shelter, those potatoes down there seem largely unaffected by blight. And before, when I filmed these, there wasn't much difference between these plants, but I think it's looking a little clearer now. The cabbages are very quickly swelling up, uh, and so on. A rather large broccoli there. It's about seven inches across. Well, I hope you found that useful. As I said, this this back half largely is a nursery bed um, spare plants and there's it's doesn't look quite as pretty as the other half but uh, down the other head down the side is soft fruit various kinds were back collected over the years and some of this is going to be moved in time for next year this is annoying, American mildew, I cannot get rid of this, I've chopped the plant back, I've moved it, I've spread them space, and still it comes back. Um, I'm largely going to give up on those particular plants. So there it is, that's the back half in more detail.